Hello and welcome to the part of the video where we give stuff away. 71% of the people watching this video are not subscribed to the channel. Tiny red button, lower right of the screen. Do not be afraid. As in each and every trailer build series video, it is brought to you by Advantage RVs. And we're gonna be giving away some prize packs from Advantage RVs right now. Advantage RVs hat, Aero Trailers hat, Aero Trailers t-shirt, one of these bad dogs right here, the Advantage RVs hoodies, I love these things. All you had to do was comment on the last video. Let's pick a random winner. The random winner is Earl Holt. I've always used dark gray stain as a primer than a white stain over a stain doesn't peel in the future like paint. Ken, thank you so much for that comment. My email address is shown on the screen. Shoot me an email so I can get your shipping address and get this sent out to you. And thank you so much for watching the videos. Now, don't forget to leave a comment on this video so you can get into this giveaway on our next video. It, this is how it works. Advantage RVs, hooking you up. Really appreciate everybody's feedback on the last video. Tech Mike 36 says use the same product, but the red Labeling a lot of people are recommending to use a oil-based product instead of a water-based product kills primer with the gold label has been Recommended a lot that is something I actually had my hands on was about to get it But then the old man uh, was recommended this product Yeah, you were that you win that You were recommended to this product Fast prime to Primer and sealer, apparently this is the difference, is that this has a sealer in it. Uh, it's the same brand of the product that we used before. It's water-based, I don't know if it's going to work any better or not. What I have noticed on the trailer, you guys, is uh, where we kind of have double-coated the existing primer, it, it looks quite a bit better. In the seam area where I went through with the brush just to really try and put a lot down throughout the seam area, you can tell that the coverage is quite a bit better. So I think we're gonna hit it one more time here with the product that, uh, like I said, was recommended to the old man. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. And hopefully we can get through with just doing one more coat of primer, then we'll put our top coat on. And I hope we can continue and move forward with the project at that point. The next thing that I wanna get to in this video is you can see we got some one by sixes and uh, we just cut them down have 45s on each side. We're gonna use this as a, as like a crown molding up in the top corner of the trailer. We'll mount some some uh, LED puck lights in there eventually. Um, and it will also house all of the rest of like the wiring, all of the uh, 110 volt and everything else wiring that we're gonna have um, up in the corners of the trailer on each side. We'll then be able to just run some conduit drops to the outlets that we want. Some conduit runs out to the middle where we're gonna put some Lighting, but first and foremost, we got to get this paint situation under control. product worked a little bit better. The wall is still really wet. Ceiling is a little more dry. You see it's kind of smoothing out. I, I, the ceiling is looking pretty good. Hopefully the top coat will cover all the rest of it. And uh, you know, overall this thing's looking pretty good. I think once we get the, the corner trim in there, it's gonna, it's gonna really shape up and look, look finished and look complete. Vera's got all of the corn pieces ready to go. What color are we gonna paint them, Vera? Black. What? I think we're gonna paint them black. Black? Yeah, black. 
Let's do it. That is black. Wow. That's gonna look cool. I like it. You pumped for it? What do you think? Don't get it on your coat. I like it. <laughs> guys happy to say that the painting is done uh, I'm not a fan of painting this was not my favorite part of the project I promise you if I were to do this again I would look a lot harder for a product that that came white so that we could avoid the painting process but uh, the painting process the top coat is stellar it worked really good we had really great coverage um, the drying it's looking good I'm happy everyone's happy the old man killed it and uh, Painting, check that off the list. I've also put down some black on these trim pieces as you can see. Um, really liking how this turned out. I think this is gonna, you know, break up the inside of the trailer. The aesthetic is gonna match the outside of the trailer. I think it's gonna really look nice. Plus it gives us a good uh, secure way to mount some lighting and run the, run the wiring behind there. So we're gonna be getting to go on as far as uh, fitting up how those are gonna, there's gonna be some fairly complex angles towards the front of the trailer in the v-nose area uh with these but uh, we're gonna get that figured out we're gonna get this kind of fit up get it started um we don't have the right screws that we want to use for this yet uh, but we are going to get it fitted up and then we'll uh we'll end up having to take it down and probably touch up the paint on the edges and the seams and things like that but uh that's where we're at and that's where we're going to get uh started on the on them on them corner pieces. <laughs> crown molding piece that we just did is probably one of the most interesting and challenging bits. Would you say, Dad, more challenging than? Yeah, that was a pain, yeah. That was a pain? It was fun, right? The challenge here is multiple angles. Of course, the boards themselves have the 45 degree angle so that it sits into the corner at a 45, but also, you know, each of these walls with this V nose on this trailer is, a different angle so we didn't know how to do it we honestly. need a compound miter box and do it all in one we don't have yeah we do not have a compound miter box so the approach that we took was to uh make some test pieces and just nibble away at them until we got a good fit on our test jig pieces and then just cut them one piece at a time we kept cutting them, you know, a little too long and taking a little bit off, taking a little bit off, taking a little bit off. And honestly, it it's not perfect, but it's way better than exceeded my expectations. What do you think, Dad? Yeah, I, I was hoping it would turn out this good, but I didn't think it would. <laughs> he had low confidence, you guys. So the hard part is done for that, and I'm glad that that part's behind us.
piece of sheet metal, powder coated it black. Uh, need to drill a couple holes in it, but that's gonna be the trim piece that kind of covers up uh, so you don't see like this wiring and stuff behind you on the back of the trailer. It's also gonna help hold this up. We probably should have put that in before that trim, but I think we're gonna be okay. That piece is going in next. Check it out guys, getting started on the electrical. Uh, went ahead and laid a nice coat of black on the electrical. I mean, you can probably buy black stuff, but uh, seems like anytime you buy something that's black, it's more money. So just took the cheap stuff, painted it black, wanted to get a nice look, and we're gonna start installing that in the trailer right now. I'm trying to figure out how to lay out all this electrical. What I'd like to do is have this main breaker box up here out of the way. However, what that's gonna do is all my cord, you know, going out the trailer, I'm gonna waste like 10 feet just getting out the trailer if I put it up high like that. Uh, alternatively, I could put it down here, not waste any cord but I have some pretty big totes that I plan on storing right here in this area. And I don't have the exact measurements. They're not with me right now. And I'd hate for this to be in the way for that. So what I think I'm gonna do is split the difference. This is gonna get mounted about here and put this kind of right in the middle. That way the biggest totes will be free and clear. And then they kind of stack up and there's a little bit smaller totes up above. So this should be out of the way. So I think that's what I think that's what we will do. Let's wait one second before we get off. Where we put this, we've got to be able to run a conduit straight up, or however many conduits. Oh, put that down, put that on top of it. The cord you said about the oh, cord. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. All right, guys, I changed my mind. We're putting a electrical box back at the top. After further analysis of the amount of space up here required by some of the things I want to have up here, the decision has been made to move this down and put the electrical box above. is good. Here's, I'll hold it up and you can mark it or whatever. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. I was just gonna put a screw in it right away. Oh, my bad. A trailer we're gonna be starting to get into a lot of the really really fun stuff very soon uh, when it comes to organizing this thing out and totally getting it set up for uh, live stream capabilities in the most pristine optimized just absolute cherry way possible don't forget that we are giving away advantage RVs prize packages on every single trailer build series video all you have to do is drop a comment down below and you're entered in to win that prize package courtesy of Advantage RVs. Thank you to Kevin and the entire team over at Advantage RVs for sponsoring this series. Yeah, baby. Sun is shining, boys. Must be getting closer to racing season. Sun is out. 
Need to melt some more of this white stuff though, like a lot. 